I'm Professor Prototype, and welcome back to Invention Dimension. Once you have identified a problem, it's time to start seeking solutions and doing research to really understand your problem. In this step, you will research in order to help yourself understand who is affected by your problem, if there are parts of your problem you didn't think about yet, and possible solutions to your problem. Inventors think about lots of different ways they might solve a problem, using that awesome skill of brainstorming. Inventors do a lot of research. They research materials. They study science principles that apply to their problem. And they look to available technologies that might provide a solution. They research facts and statistics related to the people who will use their invention and talk to professionals who work in a field related to their problem. You can begin your research by reading articles on the internet, searching trade publications and magazines, visiting the library, and conducting surveys. The more places you research and investigate to understand and solve a problem, the better your solution will be in the end. Also, your research will help you to be sure your idea is original and new for the marketplace. You might find something that already exists to solve your problem, and that's okay. Think about how your solution could be different from what exists and how you could keep exploring to improve that solution to make something new and even better. For example, smoke detecting devices have been invented since the late 1890s. A quick search of the history of smoke alarms shows us that inventors continue to develop and improve smoke detectors using new science knowledge, experimentation, research, and advancements in technologies throughout the years. A study done on children waking to the beeping sounds of smoke detectors during testing showed that many children slept right through the beep. This was a problem. Inspired by this research, Bart Smud invented the recordable smoke detector in 2006. The detector allows you to record a human voice, and then it plays the familiar voice instructing the child to wake up and leave the room as previously taught, and it helps them successfully flee smoke. Let's go learn about how others research and collect information to learn how to best solve their problem. The best way to find solutions is to talk to the people that are going to be using your solution. If it's a solution for your grandmother, Call your grandmother and ask her about the way in which she would utilize something, whether it be going out and getting her mail or a way in which she can hang her laundry. Ask her, talk to them about it. And, and getting that feedback from the person that's going to use it is critical for identifying the appropriate solution. So oftentimes when we're seeking solutions for problems to solve, we start with what we know. So go into the marketplace and look for products that might need improving. Is there a game console that you use that you think, I could make that better? Or maybe it's a product that mom and dad use that I could find a better solution for. We were thinking about uh, solutions to the problem that we chose. We went to the internet. We looked up different kinds of things and what we found were like, dog ramps that you could use in your car so like older dogs could get in the car easier but we couldn't find anything that had to do with people so we thought we would choose this as it was something that was kind of needed I guess. Um, so basically we came up with three uh, different ideas uh, basically. So this was our um, very last idea that we had. Uh, it was something that would connect like a, a step ladder, how they all attach, or um, something that had uh, a string that would hold the tension together as a step. And the, that was our first idea. And then our middle idea that we had was uh, something that you would take physically and just move them up like that. But uh, we were confused on how they would lock in place. Um, so basically, that's how many ideas we had. Um, and then we finally came up with like a wooden dowel that would move it. When the kids have their solution and they're starting to research their solution and they may come up with um, similar products, uh, they will look out there on the internet and um, find similar products but try to figure out how their solution may be different or better. There's a variety of ways to seek solutions to solving your problems. Uh, YouTube is always a great resource. If you're trying to learn new 3D software, you can get tutorials off of YouTube YouTube, or you can take classes at a place like the Ideal Foundry. When you do research on your specific problem, you can look towards uh, who uses your, your potential product or industry experts. And even as a youth or a kid, you can reach out and talk to uh, industry experts. I, um, in school, I called up an uh, oil executive and, and I was doing a report on um, peak oil. and. 
you can come in contact with all these experts and as long as you're interested and excited about it, tons of people will talk to you. So when you're imagining a solution, I actually think one of the most valuable things you can do is talk with other people. I think sometimes we're too prone to just search the internet or try to look it up. But in fact, what really works best is when you engage someone who might have some experience in that particular field. So at a company like United Technologies, we like to have students come to our engineers and to our manufacturing professionals and ask them questions about the problems they face and solutions that might be possible inventions. Just go follow your dreams. You could do anything you dream of and always do your research before you start building the product or the prototype. You want to create it and make sure it's unique and make it your own. There can be many solutions to a problem. And remember, as an inventor, your goal is to think of as many different solutions as possible so you can choose the best one. It's easy to go with your first solution, but you will never know if it's the best one if you don't fully understand the problem and haven't thought of other ways to solve it. Remember, keep an open mind when you search for solutions. Just because something hasn't been tried before doesn't mean it won't work. Stay curious. See you on the next episode of Invention Dimension. <laughs>